Hello family, how's everyone? I'm doing it again, I'm here checking out this old cemetery in Galveston. Okay everyone, um, since we're celebrating Mardi Gras means Fat Tuesday, uh, we celebrated this before Ash Wednesday. Basically it's a festival with lots of food, concerts, drinks, parade, all good stuff. So I decided to um, check out this oldest cemetery, compromise of seven burials ground, plotted between 1839 and 1939. While some find it strange to visit a cemetery while on vacation, many visitors to Galveston that this one is well worth the stop. Sabi nila kasi it's um the it's full of um the history. You know what I mean? Okay, family, since we're celebrating Mardi Gras, we're going to visit um, Elizabeth Parsival, very known to people of Galveston. You know why? Because the story is um, escaping an abusive uh, husband. Um, she started a new life in Galveston as a single mother. Um, March 1881, everyone is celebrating Mardi Gras, right? Um, kasama siya, kasama si Elizabeth na mag-celebrate ng, um, ng festi festival. Hindi niya alam, uh, her husband was hiding among the floats during the parade and shot her to death. Uh, pinatay siya ng kanyang asawa. That's why every, every time mag-celebrate ng Mardi Gras, everyone remember her, goes see her gravestone and leave Mardi Gras beads to pay their respect. Um, a lot of people come visit her. Um, so we're one of them. We want to see for ourselves. I mean, to me, it's it's something cool because it's part of the history. Um, I know it's a very sad day for everybody during that time. You know, I heard people talk. Uh, about her and some of her family still come visit her. If you ever come to Galveston, uh, come visit this cemetery. It's cool. Why not stop by, right? And pay your respect to ancestors of this great city. By the way, when we were there, I saw people out there uh, when I was there doing the same thing like I do. Taking pictures, making videos, taking um, filming. You know what I mean? Um, doing the same thing because um, those people are just like me. They love history. They like to see cool stuff, you know, old things. So um, people are so curious nowadays, just like myself, to learn uh, how they do it before, knowing that they don't have computers, they don't have internet. Um, if you want to see some cool and never never before seen in the newest cemetery nowadays go and check out the super oldest oldest cemetery and you'll be amazed of what you're gonna see in there just so you know i'm going to all the cemetery or just the mere fact you're going to cemetery right um lets you connect to the past that's what's um, amazing about it okay family interesting facts about cemetery do you know the difference between a coffin and a casket so yung coffin is a wider at the shoulder narrower at the head and feet while the casket is rectangular and molded into the shape of the human body can you believe that I thought it's all the same, the coffin and the casket, just different terminology, you know what I mean? But they differ from shape, so now we all know the difference between coffin and the casket. <laughs> check, check us out, right? Um, we're learning as we go. Here's another thing, get ready for this one. This one is good. They say if a person is good, flowers will grow on the grave, and if the person was evil, Weeds will grow. Oh, diba. Fancy. Cemetery is not just about a bunch of dead people. It's art, architecture, stone from different eras. 
That's why it's cool to check out cemeteries. I mean, the oldest one. And just a reminder for everybody. While you're still alive, enjoy every moment. Enjoy every day. Enjoy your time with your family. Don't be so envious. Forget about jealousy. Stop being greedy. If you have all this, you will never be happy. So if I were you, I'll just go out there and embrace everything and live my life to the fullest like it's my last day. That's all you gotta do.